kids, I want to talk to you this morning about hope. It's important in these crazy times to have hope and keep hope alive. I want to read a scripture to you this morning about that very thing. It's found in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, and it says, Give praise to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us a new birth and a hope that is alive. It is alive because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Did you hear that? The hope that he gives us is alive. I'm going to read a little bit further. He has given us new birth so that we might share what belongs to him. It is a gift that can never be destroyed. It can never spoil or even fade away. That's pretty good news, isn't it? So I have two balloons here with me this morning to help us learn a little bit more about hope. So what did we say in that scripture? The hope that he gives us is what? Is it dead? No, that's right. It's alive. Say that with me. It's alive. Very good job. So these two balloons look exactly the same, right? They do. They both have hope. But where does their hope come from? One balloon has hope in God, which is where our hope should come from. Remember what the hope is? It's alive. And this balloon has hope in things of the world. Do you think that that is a live hope, a living hope? Let's see what happens. So when trouble comes and when bad things happen, can we still have hope? We sure can because our hope is alive. That's right. Okay. So when trouble comes and bad things happen, let's see what happens to our hope. <sighs> Did you see that? This balloon that had hope in the world fell. It was crushed. It crumbled under the pressure. It crumbled under the problems the things of the world can't give us living hope. That hope is dead, but our hope in Christ is alive. And when troubles come, our hope can still float. It can rise up. Did you see when I let go of the balloon, what happens? We follow it with our eyes and we look up and that's where we should look to for our help and for our hope is to heaven. So remember that our hope comes from God and in him, we have a hope that is alive. We have a living hope in God. I want you guys to remember that this week, okay? Keep hope alive and keep your hope in God. Keep looking up. I'll see you next time.